What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 6 of Have a Nice Death. This is the latest entry in the series Refining Roguelites where I try to get better and master a genre of games that typically gets the best of me. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into Have a Nice Death. I haven't played in several days. I've been, you know, kind of fighting some health issues, but I am feeling much better today, so I'm hoping that I can jump right in, and you know what, I would really love to defeat Warren Pliskin today. The Major has been a major pain in the butt. So we are going to try and do our best to beat him. We saw the summary from the last stream of course, This is, that was attempt number 7. We had an excellent thing going, but um, unfortunately I did panic at the worst of times. Let's see if there's anything we can unlock at this point. Uh, what can we invest in good sir? Juicy giblets, yes please. The Slagor. Piercing Ray. I'll take all of those. Eminent difficulty breakdown. And let's say hi to Jocelyn. So we're going to take some new stuff. We're going to sign our name on the dotted line and we are going to fasten our seatbelts because Hall of Eternity, here we come. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Let's kick some butt, shall we? What is this? No, no, how do I cancel it? Choose the next flight. I can go straight to Brad. Cancel. That's cool. That's great for like shortcuts. I just don't want to do the twinsy. Prioritize power over speed. That's cool. If you ask Death what his favorite movie is, he will immediately bemoan the fact that he doesn't have time to go to the movies with all the work he has to do. And we can believe it too. Nevertheless, there are some little hints as to Death Inc.'s CEO's taste in movies, and Twinsy is one of them. You know, I don't know what movie that's referring to. Because, yeah, sorry guys. I don't know. If you know what movie that is, let me know in the comments. Because honestly, I can't think of, uh, you know, a two, I don't know, a two headed scythe. I don't even know what you'd call it. A two-ended, a two bla a dual-bladed scythe. Yeah, that's probably the right term. I I don't know of any movie that features that weapon. So educate me on that, please, guys, because I don't know. It's cool. I like the moveset. It's actually pretty great. It's a little slower, but it seems to be more powerful. That's what it says. Right? I'm gonna believe that. Uh, gain retrain. What is retrain? Deals bonus damage by changing weapons in the middle of a combo. Rush gains, 25% cooldown, that's not bad. Launches an axe when using a cloak attack, also not bad. I, I wanna re-roll, I mean, can we go for more damage here? Sinister gear is the scythes and cloak weapons. Aerial attacks deal bonus damage. 35% bonus damage to be in, to be uh, in fact. No, in fact. I don't know. 35% damage to be precise. See? Told you. My mind is in a bit of a fog. We're gonna go to... Hmm. We could go hazardous floor and maybe get some anima or equipment store and get like a cloak. We need some better weapons. The twinsy is cool. It's powerful, but I don't want to rely primarily on scythes. We learned last stream that using the... You know, I'd say the spells specifically, not the cloak abilities, but the spells are incredibly powerful, especially if you get some nice ranged ones. We had Boulder Rain, which was just really awesome. I really enjoyed using that. Um, but I, I kind of panicked, and Warren Pliskin took a lot of damage, had to heal very quickly, and I spent most of my time healing and not really attacking or learning the moveset. So I got, you know, jacked up, so to speak. What, 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 what did I just do? What, what does Triangle do? What? Hold on, I need to read about that. I have no clue what that does. I didn't even know I had that on my person, so... That is slow. This voodoo trick will give you a level head, albeit at the cost of health. <gasps> the Hex gives you additional max HP. Heals you, but max HP is reduced. Have I just been hurting myself this whole time? I do not want that. I don't want to trade off like that. It heals you, but at the cost of your max HP. See, magic is bad, guys. You always have to trade something. I'm dropping that immediately. I don't want that. I'll sell it. I'll sell it faster than you can imagine. First shop we get. I refuse to have something like that. It's too costly, you know? Curse reroll. Dirty. 
dirty dagger. Here's what we're gonna do though. How do I, there's gonna be a quicker way to get here. Control room. Okay. I wish I could just be like, drop. Ooh. Little fast strikes there. I've killed plenty of flying books. We got some more insight. So at least we have a full set, but you know what? We're going to the Vedum department. We're gonna max out our health. That's the route we need to go. We need to be tanky. Battle mages, if you will. Right now we're just using cloak skills and uh, and our scythe, which, you know, isn't the very best. I like I like a little bit of range spells. The cloaks are great, but you do have to get up close and personal because they're just variations of your melee, pretty much. There you go. Where is everybody? Oh, nice. Wow, it is pretty powerful, actually. I'm pleased with the attack power of the Twinsy. Oh, really? The one attack that I didn't want to use? I've been wasting my health this entire time. I pressed... I, I pressed circle. Okay, thank you. Please get rid of this. Terrible weapon. Now I have a ranged one at least. I think it's still technically a cloak. And I do think that if you hit the enemy with a dagger in the back, it's 100% uh, chance of backstab. There you go. Let's get the, the health back that I lost not knowing what that skill was. That was bad. You know what, because we're in a bit of a, uh, a pickle, if you will. We're going to go to the Fender's office, we're going to fight W. Hung. Let's hope it's appropriate. Maybe we can get some health back or something. I feel like uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. Well, that was weird. I don't like when the boss rooms take you through a little gauntlet. That's not fun. Whoa, that's cool. Mr. Hung. He's the rope. That's awesome. Uh-oh. Nope. What the donk, man? I did some crazy damage at the end, but man, he hurt me so bad. That was scary. Well, that's our second Thanager, actually. I'll take it. All right, let's see if we can get something else to help. Retaliate deals plus one bonus damage. What is Arcane? Hmm. Deals damage after five stacks. That applies an effect when a scythe or a cloak weapon strikes an enemy target. 50 damage. That's pretty big, right? We have the Retaliation or Arcane Forge. I, I want to try some status effects. Bleed was pretty good. You know, we have to experiment if we're going to end up getting really good at the game. So, Shop. I'm going to buy coffee, of course. I only have 69 anima, so uh, I should have enough for maybe a smaller mid-sized coffee, but not a venti. Get rid of that stupid curse. That was the worthless curse. Yay! Okay, what is this? Makeshift rockets? Shoot a rocket firework in a straight line that deals damage as it falls back to the ground. Hmm. Hmm. And we'll sell you, of course. And guess what? I think we'll have enough. Oh no, it's not worth 40. It's only worth 20. I'll say then we might have enough for a second curse. Let's see. 
Hmm, okay, makeshift rockets. They seem a little weird. Wait, wait, wait. B Proudfoot? We've never fought him before. We just usually fight regular Brad. This is awesome. Is this like his upgraded form? It is! No way. Roger that. Your wish is my command, sir, Brad. Over and out. So he's still loyal to Brad. You know, you can just speak to me directly. I'm right in front of you. And it looks like you've decided to put the suit back on. Fine. Finally, we're getting somewhere. This is crazy. I don't know what his abilities are going to be. Huh. He's very James Bondish. I like it. What does this do? Okay, laser. Ugh, Brad here, um, the target's a bit too hot for me, um, hello, is it broken? I'd be willing to forgive your betrayal if you'll tell me who you're talking to through that darn earpiece. Nope, no way. Besides, I've had enough. I don't know who's right anymore, so go. I have slacking off to do. Hmm. Now he's like in beach mode. This is crazy, like, who was that? When has, have, when have we ever been able to see that guy before? How do you trigger that encounter, I wonder, you know? The cloak deals plus 10 bonus damage? Ooh. Both of those were good. I mean, actually, all of those curses were good, but it's fine. I need health now. Every department we need to go to is going to be specifically, you know, uh, targeted for health and increasing our health. Now, let's hope the fridge has something yummy. I'll take it. That'll work, I suppose, for now. Okay, so industrial pollution it is. We're going to go the same route as always. Uh, go for Gordon, Mr. Gordon Grimes. Um, I guess my concern here is going to be health. I'm a little scared. That was a really cool boss encounter, though. That was awesome. I don't know how that happened or how to trigger that again. I would love to figure that out. That was awesome. I would love to do that again. He was more melee based, but he was still very tough. I had a hard time with him. Oh, I need this. Thirst! I will store you away. Oh, so it pops. Okay, I didn't. We never got to see that effect because there weren't enemies on the other side usually. There, we've seen some locks or some sort of rooms or areas that have like locks on them, uh, and I don't know how to get through to them. We saw like a graphical like weird distortion, and I was like, hmm, this seems like a secret pathway. I just don't know how to access it. So we'll need to look into that. slamming the, the buttons right now but you know what it helps me play better you press the buttons harder you get better man that's their hitboxes are tiny what is this the Shakespeare hmm Keep it, just in case we want to change it out. I don't know yet. I like the Shakespeare. I've used it quite a bit. It has much better range than our poor... Our poor little backstab. 
or dirty dagger. Okay, we're getting some health. We need to continue doing this though. Anima deposit. Here we come. Hopefully, uh, I don't think it's going to be prestigious anima, right? Which we would assume is the gold anima. Uh, but I'll take regular anima. Anima. Just, I'm just make that very clear. When I was listening to the playback, it sounds like I'm saying another word. I'm saying anima. I promise. Because I don't want the other stuff. I'll take it. That was a tiny little area. And we can bypass that enemy, because why not? And we're free. Now, I'm not going to go fighting all the Thanagers, okay? I didn't want to set that precedent. I just thought I was going to die anyway, so I was like, hey, might as well see one. But we ended up turning that around. That entire encounter ended up being a favorable one. Oh gosh, we don't like those guys. I was trying to press, use my range attack, but I couldn't. See, what is this? It's so strange. It's like it would be a secret, because this room was pretty worthless. I don't understand if the level design is telling at all, or if it's just, you know, just purely random, and I'm just trying to find meaning out of it, but... Sometimes there, there's actually a method to the chaos, you know? Method to the madness. I'm just getting all my expressions and sayings wrong. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, hold on. That wasn't Anima. Let's get out of here. That was a boring room. Vedum department, please. We're trying to max out our health. We got... Uh, Hit pretty bad by our own spell, the voodoo. And that's why we don't play with magic. Uh oh. I'll take it. Back to max health. More anima, so now we got a golden anima. Good stuff. Uh oh. Oh gosh, yeah, I can't. Really? I, was, I can't hit him with the life of me. My mistake there was uh, <laughs> trying to dash very quickly in rapid succession, and that did not happen. Control room or shop? Let's try and buff our weapons. We can only really do one buff, um, or one level of buffs per, maybe for two items. Because I think it's 50 and then 125 is the solar cost. Um, wow, that's a huge upgrade there. Let's definitely do that. That is a big upgrade. Deals 25. Now it's 50 damage when the enemy's near death. That's really good. I wonder what near death means. Hmm. Okay. And what is death and dismemberment? I wonder what that deals bonus damage if the enemy's near. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, the sinister arsenal de deals bonus damage when attacking enemies from behind. Okay, so 100% chance that it applies backstab. Cool. And this adds another projectile. Hmm. This could be much stronger from 5 to 20. I think that's great, actually. The dagger in and of itself is going to be dealing a good amount of damage. We've got G Grimes up and a full set of health. So we, even though we had a rough start, you know, if you continue and you don't give up, sometimes, you know, you, things will work out for you. So just, that's just a nice, nice little life lesson, if you will. Just don't give up. 
Uh, sometimes things will work out, but if you give up, you'll never know, right? So let's see how far we can get. We had a terrible start, but you know what? We turned it around. How can the management of this department treat my precious employees this way? Come on now, you're falling victim to the sorrow of weakness. I can't stand it. I don't understand what the purpose of that was. Oh, it's following him, I see. But is it dealing any damage, I wonder? It's weird. Like, I don't know what that little purple thing is. Have I applied a status effect or something on him? Time to tank it. Let it rain. It was like fireworks. That's cool. It was very slow. <laughs> Incredibly slow, if you will. It says, there is no sorrow of, weak of wokeness, Gordon. It's a misappropriation of interest. A corrosive fallacy. Admit it, though. Wouldn't that be a good idea for the company? Absolutely not. Well, Jordan Grimes, or Jordan Grimes, what is wrong with me today? You can tell I'm off a bit. Gordon Grimes. Goodbye. You're fired. Spell Sling sets off explosions all around you. Gain one defense. Gain 50% chance of dealing backstab. No thanks, because, I mean, well, maybe. Gain bonus damage equivalent to 7% of the remaining HP. See, this is good, actually, because we, we can deal quite a bit of damage. That's only a 15% chance. We have a 100% chance, though, with the dagger, so I don't know. I don't know if that would have always propped or what, so I'm not going to worry about it, though. The minutia. Minutia. See? There you go. Getting words wrong again. Trying to sound smart. Refill the fridge, yes. Gain plus three anima, hmm. You know, if I don't take it, it'll just be ready for me the next time. You know, actually I could do this, right? I could top off my health, go, grab these three. That's not, I mean, whatever, right? Hopefully I'll have enough solary to upgrade it next time. We're going to the physical illness department. We're going to be fighting Hector Crank there. Hopefully. Uh, we will not be fighting Denzel Denga. He is the bane of my existence. I don't think I can tolerate another loss from him. The magic is very strong. The force is strong with this one. Really? You changed direction? Like, what are you, freaking Muhammad Ali? How's he moving like that? Ooh, I never sold it. Oh, yeah, I didn't go to a shop, so that's fine. Well, goodbye. You know what? I actually am not. I'm tired of that. I don't want this. How do I change? I can't because it's in the recycle. So let's see. We're going to go back and do something here. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nope, it just completely erases it. Well, now we know to not override skills. We should have actually selected it in the slot that we were going to use. I think that would have worked, but that's fine. Now we know. Because I actually was going to switch it out for the Shakespeare, because I need more range. I need a lot more range. I don't even know what the super does. The ultimate dagger attack. I guess I could read. Vitam mana, please. We, I would like another curse, but if we can get an increase in our mana, that'd be fine. Or even if we get a little bit of uh, Oops. There's an animal right there. Cool. When I, after I fight these guys, I, I, I get it stuck in my head that every single enemy from this point on will explode. And that's just not the case. I feel a doctor coming up. Every 
everybody die. Bad thing about that is because I was in the middle of combat and there was an anima that fell on the floor and sadly I touched it and used it so I, I was like man I used it pretty much prematurely in an intriguing floor let's just try let's try I have to beat one I've yet to actually successfully complete an intriguing floor let's see don't get hit okay oh gosh Gosh. Oh, that was the first pass ever. That was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Ooh, that's a tough one. But if I go to the Prismium Deposit, I can guarantee an upgrade. Um, so I shall, I'll do that. But man, that was fun. My first intriguing floor success. I'll take it. <laughs> Curse reroll. Need some coffee now because we got jacked up. I think that swirling purple whatever is backstab. So like once they have backstab applied, I think you deal more damage. I, I don't quite understand. But I do believe that's sort of what's happening right now. Hey, get out of here, dude. I'm going to shoot you from afar because you are a nuisance. Get some coffee. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm trying to defeat everybody in hopes that I actually get a drop, uh, an item drop. But nothing yet. Oh gosh, wrong attack. That's not good. Well, fine. No coffee for me, huh? Got the prism, the prismium, though. Haha, <sighs> not fighting him. Curse reroll, please. We just talked about dengue. I do not feel like dying. I am so tired of dengue. Makes me sick. No pun intended. I think as much solary as possible just because we are going to be stopping at a control room at some point. Ooh, here's our coffee. It's a short, but I'll take it. Pretty much maxes us out. I'm relying very heavily on the melee, I mean the magic, which I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about, not at all. Oh yeah, the rest of these guys don't blow up when they die. <laughs> I'll never get used to that. Oops. You may 
may die now. Curse reroll, gross. I know we ended up having to cho choose that room, but they're not nearly as good as they should be. So we got a free room before we fight Hector Crank. Oh, Jacob, we have some insight with Jacob now. Uh, he's a technical manager, associate blacksmith. Back when time began, Death forged his own scythe and enchanted it with his own skeletal hands. Over the course of his travels across the various planes of existence, he got to know Jacob, a monstrous kiln filled with molten lava. Jacob accepted Death's offer of a drink, and they started swapping trading cards. Jacob was pretty happy since he'd assumed he was the only nerd darky, dorky enough to play a thousand legends of a thousands of rings. Hands off my cards. They hold my many fond memories of games with my friend and master. Don't touch them or else pain worse than death will fall upon you. Seriously, I'm not playing around. So cool, he's a little nerd. Hmm. So the damage doesn't actually increase much. I mean, from 20 to 30 it does, but that's it. Oh, I don't have enough, do I? I do. I had just enough. Now I'll go to you, my friend. And we'll make it even stronger. 25 bonus damage to Thanagers. <laughs> Someone I will never fight again. So I like the Twinsy. It's good. I like the fact that it deals more damage when enemies are near death. That's excellent. Okay, gotta get comfortable here. H crank, here I come. Hi. Those roughly 50 heartbreakers were part of an ultra complex system. Who should I try my next cardiovascular disease on now, huh? Can't you see I'm ordering you to change systems? Oh my gosh, what is this? That was good. I was very nervous though. What do you mean change systems? Yes, Mr. Crank, it's time to change. Change. An amazing way to avoid doing the same stupid things over and over again. Oof. Well, that hurt. Let's see. The scythe deals plus 20 bonus damage. You gotta be kidding me. That's huge. That's good. That is good indeed. You know, I don't trust the OSHA guy. He's always so, like, I don't know, deceptive. Like, he's always kind of throwing, like, little jabs, but he's like, oh, it's not I. Refill the fridge. I don't have enough cash, okay? I'm broke. I don't have enough for any of this. I guess we're going to the Modern Warfare Department. Plain and simple. We gotta farm up some anima here, guys. That's the next big step. You know what? I don't want to die, necessarily. Not too keen on that thought. So I don't want to just fight randoms for no reason. 
Like you, I might have to fight. That makes sense. Be careful. I'm so quiet because I am focusing so hard right now. Because I'm scared. And I went the wrong way. I just need to keep going right. Hey, how did I hit miss you, sir? And he hit me. Not for much, but it still hurts my pride. for me. Bunch of solary. I'll save it. Whee! Alright, that was a good room. <laughs> that was a good room. Anima deposit or Vita mana. Gosh, what do you do, right? Anima, I guess, because we did talk about that. The lack of anima, the lack of our healing capability is going to be huge uh, when we're fighting off with uh, Major Warren Pliskin. Fighting off with him. Look at me. Facing off with. I, I cannot speak today. Told you I'm not 100% yet. It'll be a while. Lovely. Oh no, you guys are crazy, okay. Evil birds. Wait, okay. I don't wanna die. Oh, that's not the room. Maybe here. Yes, please, thank you so much for the good drops. Use that a little prematurely. I did not mean to use that there, but that's fine. Uh oh. No, thank you. Uppercut. Stay way clear of all this stuff. Short coffee. Okay. Whew. Bees. Summons an entire hive or killer bees and sets them on your enemies. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. We've had them before. They're pretty decent. But they're not like game changing. You don't have anything to give me? Okay. No, okay. I figured. Hey, let's just try. Let's get out of here. What a scary, scary place. Cloak store? Hmm. Spell store or vault? Let's try cloak. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't necessarily love the backstab idea that we have here. Hey, 
You know, if I understood the stats effect better, like if it actually applies backstab now, and no matter what, if you hit him, it's 100% extra damage, whether it's in the front or the back, that would be cool. But I don't know if that's what it actually does. Wait for our mana to recharge. Go to sleep, little guys. You stay over there. The big guy, is he worth killing? I don't know. What to find out. No, he was not. Ooh. Sorry guys, gotta use the slay more. It's just a powerful weapon. The mana department, hmm, yeah, that's fine. Get some increased uh, mana so we can be able to, uh, you know, really spam the makeshift rockets. Those are pretty good. I like the makeshift rockets. I wish they had some homing capabilities though. I know I'm just kind of, you know, asking for a lot right now, but. One can dream. What is this? That to me is incredibly odd. Why is he facing this way? One and then. Huh. Okay, well, seems like a secret to me. One another yet another that I cannot access. I'm glad it's just three hits for them now. Challenge room. I'm here. I had to do this for some iframes. I'm gonna take out the little ranged guys first. They can be a real nuisance. Oh gosh, so again, he, it hit me. The, the ability for that thing to turn around is just insane. I cannot believe the turn radius on that bad boy. Now I really want to find some coffee or something. Like, I feel gypped. There you go. I feel better. I feel so much better now. This way I need a good cup of joe. Just what the doctor ordered. Good room. Good room. I liked it. Control room or vitam mana. I don't have enough to really upgrade anything except the slaymore. Hmm. I could upgrade the slay more. Or go Vita Mana and hopefully get some more health. Maybe more max health would be good. The control room would have been a free room though, so I probably should have done that just considering how much trouble I've had in the past. But we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna use a lot of ranged abilities. We're gonna play smart. We're gonna save that. Save you for later, buddy. All right, here goes. Into the belly of the beast we go. Very quiet, I like it. This is the challenge room right here, though. We're gonna just take it nice and slow. Use our mobility to keep them at bay. 
Oh, I thought I had the daggers. It's fine. Stay over there, buddy. Did the enemy go away? If it did, that's not cool. One, two, three. I'm playing it real smart. I'm not even gonna... We're playing at my pace right now. Because I don't feel good. I mean, it really, I mean, what? I guess. <laughs> does it matter? I guess it does. It's fine. That hurts me? You've got to be kidding me. I had no clue that actually hurt me. What a waste. That was a waste. I feel really bad about that. Yikes. That's okay. That's okay. Do, 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 do. We'll go with uh, the curse. Um, we'll just go ahead and select, what's his name, Osha. So we can get a curse. Hopefully more damage or something like that would be nice. I can't believe I just did that. It's okay though. We're gonna, we got the thirst. So we're good now. Coffee. I should have saved that. That's okay though. Right in the face. Love to see it. Oh. You can't believe that tank, that little. Whatever it is, the barrel hurts me. That's just cheap. No secrets here. I have not found one secret in this rogue. Like, like, you can't tell me there's no secrets in here. I won't believe it. I just won't believe it. Hello. So we have the cloak deals plus 15 more damage. Spells gain 10% mana reduction. Termination unleashes a wave of flames. Hmm. What's the penalty? I accept. The map is no longer accessible. Have I ever used the map in my, that's like the best penalty. I don't even know how to access the map. Teach me, show me. Major Pliskin. Okay, we we got donked up. We made some mistakes in terms of health management, but overall, I'd say that was a pretty good. Um, you know, we we we're getting there. Now we're here. Let's win. It is time to win. We had a rough start. Tisk tisk. You think these ridiculous fireworks lend you any credibility? How does he know I use that? I don't need any, of course, but if you insist, how does he know what I'm using? How do you know my secret, sir?
got him. Oh my gosh. We got him. And we did really good too with that uh, missile that he always rides on. <laughs> what cunning and cheating too. It's Magic Major, M-A-G-I-C. The company has been using it for millennia. A true professional uses its full potential. Oh my gosh, we beat Warren Pliskin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your contingency plan failed. <laughs> nice. Whee, what happened? This is a cutscene. You call it hell, I call it Death Inc. Defeat Major Pliskin. Oh no! Our vacation. What just happened? Sabotaged vacation? Are you telling me that I was that close to beating the game the whole time? Because that's exciting. To think that I got there almost the first few tries. That was awesome. We're gonna fast forward through that. Uh, let's see. It says I failed it though. I don't know if that's a true fail. I wonder if I didn't go the right path. Um, in my book, hey, that's much better than rest and paperwork. So actually, we're gonna check Check it the old school way, the way we normally do. Let's get the rest of our level ups and stuff. Start the game with a golden anima, nice. I wanna know what happened, so we'll look at our run summary in just a moment. Why did I get sent back? We got a parasol 1.0, Tempest Abjuratum. We got a bunch of new items. I wish I could see what those were. Hmm, that was weird. So here's our run, it says I failed, but I would honestly call that a complete failure. I mean, I'm a complete success. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm falling apart, guys. Attempt number eight. Performance review, 1781 is the overall score. It says I failed, but that to me was a complete success. Although we didn't go on vacation, we beat every single boss. We did not die. So to me, that's a win. So there's one, two, three, there's four floors total that you have to run it. Okay, 32 minutes, 11 seconds. Uh, and we had you know a decent amount of health. I love the twinsy by the way Slaymore did some work and the makeshift rockets were fantastic We did go for primarily red curses, which really helped out quite a bit and this is our general stats So so far we have gotten really close to um... oh there you go. See Top left says attempts to treat burnout eight successful attempts one So there you have it we have successfully actually beat the game. It's considered a failure, probably because it's not the true ending. But I think maybe you have to, in a lot of uh, roguelites, you realize that the end, the general, or like the neutral ending, isn't really an ending at all. It's just another uh, non-death kind of run, or a run that doesn't end in your death. So essentially what happens is then you say, oh, well, I need to maybe select a different path or defeat or find this secret out and then once you do you get the true ending right a lot like an enter the gungeon right at first whenever you play that you beat the high dragon you think it's over but uh oh i didn't know about the the bullet you know that can kill the past you need that in order to actually fire the gun appropriately and then you can access your true endings right and then there's even more secrets that i love that game by the way that's the game that's the game that actually inspired me to do this series so Anywho, I think that that's awesome. We have one successful attempt, guys. Uh, really happy about that. That was tough. and uh, But we did it. We pulled it off. So I just wanted to say thank you all so much for your support. It really means so much to me. If you like videos like this, please be sure to like it because it helps me know you want more content just like this. We're going to continue our series on Have a Nice Death until I figure out how to obtain the true ending and until we can consistently get a few wins under our belt. And once we do, we'll be jumping into the next roguelite. But guess what? Before the end of the month, August 24th to be precise, Blasmus 2 will be coming out. So I'll be doing my Blasmus blind playthrough. I don't even know if that's politically correct anymore, but I'll be doing my playthrough, you know, a non-guide playthrough, uh, where I am, uh, you know, just kind of going. It's my very first playthrough, and then after that I'll do a 100% walkthrough for you guys, all the while I'll be showing you guides on how to defeat each of the bosses, etc. And essentially, um, we're going to be delving back into the realm of Blasphemous and Custodia and all of its crazy, crazy, agonizing, and very dark and twisted religious, you know, 
theology that it jumps into. It's a really good game, by the way. Anyways, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Again, if you want more content like this, please let me know in the comments, likes, shares, all that. It really helps me out a lot. As a fledgling full-time content creator, it helps make my dream a reality. So without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. Thank you all so much. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out. Major Warren Pliskin has been defeated.